That's me. You're watching Cheyenne Eats. This week on Cheyenne Eats, we are tasting an exotic ancient delicacy from, you guessed it, Egypt. We are in Venice, California, where Chef Braulio Bonai of Restaurant Brabu is going to give us an incredible culinary experience with this specialty food. It is truly the hidden gem of the Mediterranean, and it is called Botarga. Hello everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Cheyenne Eats. I'm Cheyenne, and I love to eat. I am so happy back here with Braulio Bonai of Bravo Restaurant here in Venice, California. Braulio, what are we doing today? Well, this week is going to be Botarga from Egypt. Oh. Egyptian Botarga caviar is amazing. Crazy, amazing dish. Yes. So we're gonna have pizza, okay. you know, nice and crispy pizza, then we put tarragon, and we're gonna have pasta, tagliatelle, pasta will be in the menu, and we some basil, some uh, fresh tomato, crazy. Oh, uh, also, we're gonna have for breakfast, we're gonna have a small bagel okay. with cream cheese, and then we'll be with and we'll and papers. It's gonna be crazy, crazy of the world with delicious potarga for kitchen. Wonderful, I am super excited to taste this potarga with Braulio's amazing dishes. Let's do it, high five, woo! Egyptian potarga is an ancient delicacy made from the roe of wild called mullet fish. Its origins can be traced back to Egypt some 5,000 years ago. The Egyptians were the first culture to cure mullet roe potarga from mullet fish on the Egyptian coast of the Mediterranean. It is known from ancient writers, from murals and paintings and tombs, that Batarga was produced along the Nile River banks since the age of the pyramids. These scenes depict the fishermen executing the lengthy process in which Batarga were and are still made. When ready to use, take it out of the freezer and leave it out for 15 minutes to defrost. You can decide to either cut the slices thinly or use a grater for even smaller pieces. That's gonna be good. You can enjoy this delicious specialty almost any time of the day. From breakfast to lunch and even dinner. With eggs, on a bagel with cream cheese as can be seen here, on a sandwich, or pasta, or even on pizza. And as you all very well know from previous episodes of Cheyenne Eats, that pizza is one of my favorite foods ever. You can prepare a very delicious and savory meal with onions, tomatoes, cheese, capers, and on top with your batarga. You can slice like bologna or like pepperoni and lay it just on top for the perfect taste. For your pasta dish, you can do many variations. You can add tomato, onion, basil, you can do so much with potarga. Mmm, look how yummy. And now, let's give it a taste. If you see batarga, which is darker in color, it means that it is not fresh or that it is farm-raised. Fresh batarga is supposed to have a golden hue, and I'll tell you a little bit about my favorite. This Egyptian batarga, introduced to America by Egyptian-born filmmaker and actor Saeed Badrea, which you can also find at EgyptianBotarga.com is cured naturally without preservatives and is shipped weekly to maintain freshness. From Port Said, Egypt to Santa Monica, California, 
but it's able to be shipped anywhere in the world. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Cheyenne Eats. See you next week. If you like this video, go ahead, hit the like and subscribe buttons.